Ya Madian, Malia. Hello, friends and family. Thank you for being here. Tonight, we will journey together. We will swim in rivers and soar across plains. Our blood will pulsate in time with the beating heartwood of our oldest, widest, wisest trees. Our ears and minds will be full of the spirit of our beautiful freshwater Yualarai home. Our journey together will be magical, but to arrive at this place, to share in its wonder, we must firstly smell and taste the beauty around us. Sandstone, shell and sea, Gadigal people, Gadigal land. May her ancestors sprinkle sand between our toes. May they dab salt on our lips. May they whisper waves to roll and caress us so our body's ready for our journey ahead. Let yourself dance to the rhythm of this country. The song of Yualarai begins on Gadigal land. Wale bangana le 
Birangulu and Ganambili are the mothers of Yualarai. They are known across the floodplain as the wives of the Creator. Although, if you ask us women, on the right day, with just the right wind and enough shade to tide us by, we may lean close and whisper, they're not his wives, he's their husband. <laughs> Birangulu, her name translates to face like an axe. This means she was long, tall, thin, and deadly. <laughs> She's so special that each part of her body has its own totem. Ganan Billy's name comes from a plant, pigweed, we call it. This second wife brings the waters, calls up the floods. She also has the babies. In English, you might call her superwoman. Our mothers, these creators, are known in our country for many things. Significant places, countless stories, and infinite song lines that traverse the entirety of the continent. They were swallowed whole by crocodiles, then came back to life on top of ant mounds. To us, these two are the first Innara, senior ladies, knowledge keepers. They are the mothers of all Yualarai people, the mothers of our culture, the mothers of our land.
In the time before you are or I existed only in the sky. Bulama, we call it. That place had no land, but a celestial river. Our old people lived happily either side of that water course, a river we still call today Wairambul. These ancestors of that time had no physical form. Rather, we say, they were spiritual entities without body. They communicated with each other through telepathy. Our people lived peacefully this way until the law was broken in Bulama by a spirit of the underworld. So, Creator called a meeting he told his wives to call to the Mimi, grandmother spirits, to ask them to descend from the sky camp and mould the four clan lands of Uallarai. Mimi were told in their making to ensure everything within it held a story. So Mimi, our grandmothers, floated to the earth they began to shape our homelands and deposited within that landscape the story of Yuwalarai law. <laughs>
I want to pull us into creation. My wish is for you to feel its embrace. Such time, its feeling, the way the universe circles around is known by some as Jurkopa, others Oltier. Another place calls it Ungud. Close to here, they say Gunyalung Yalung. In English, it is known as the dreaming or dream time. Some now have taken to calling it the every win. All swirls, long time ago in the past, a long time to come in the future, the circle of time we sit together in now. Yuloroi kolburku, moments warmed by history, stories and journeys yet to be made, the happenings of this very room, the instant of these words, my lips, your ears, the time of creation evolving, stretching, shifting to hold us, burugu, creation time, moments, eons. Now,
Symbodium caniculatum. Symbidium caniculatum. Symbidium canaliculatum. Black orchid. Gari. Gari para. People of the black orchid country. This delicate, shy one makes its place in the crooks of gum trees. Encourage alls. Slender. Cascading. East travelling people. The head of Gari's clan is emu. Slender. Parading. She also holds salt bush, galah, and the sacred fire as her kin. Gari, that understated beauty, wields great power. Black orchid people are all relatives of the cloud formations, lightning, thunder, and yariga, the east wind. We wear the pretty ones, eh? But look at her. Beautiful, yes. Shy, maybe. Secretive, perhaps. But she is medicine. She can heal. She is sustenance. Perched high in the fork of a hollow of a tree. Gari gives to all.
when Creator decided it was time to make our homelands, to move camp from the sky to the earth, he thrust his fist into the cosmos. It tore at creation. It threw Bulama into chaos and everything turned upside down. The great Warrumbul River drained, then flooded the land. The stones and dust of the bank spewed outwards. They became the celestial clouds and dusts of space. The large boulders along the river's edge started to plummet towards Mimi's new creations and Creator saw this and halted their fall, suspending them instead in place in the sky. He held them there with twine made from Kurrajong bark. Those boulders remain up there, suspended even now. Mercury, Venus, Mars. String from Nunga, strong enough to tether planets, soft enough to cradle a shell. Nunga rising from ridges, strong and supple, that old grandmother sprinkled Kurrajong across her clan land and they grew in clumps, formations, families, convoys, camps. Nunga, the tree, just like her people, binding us together still.
It is Yuwala I way for women to hold respect for men's business without the wish of its knowledge. It's the same for our business too. This is a good way to be. Rather than separate or forbidden, men's business is merely one part of a complementary whole. We women know much of Burla, the Great One. We know where and how he travelled, dragging his stick behind him as he went. We know he used his dumbai to smooth depressions in the land. We know that he sang a song so beautiful, the rain spirit heard it and was moved to tears. And we know our men keep much deeper knowledge about Creator's song line. We're happy when they your may corroboree. It is they living Yuwalarai law, helping each other to be good, kind men, and making our sons into strong and generous boys. Now it is time to make the river. Now it is time to make the lake. Dragging my doom by etching its cause smoothing depression Bye, Ami. Uh,
Among the Mimi that came to create country and implant story were a set of twins. They are the mothers of Murku, swamp country. The twin trees of the swamp. The elder is Bibil, round and fat, short to the ground. Bimble box tree. Her younger, more slender sister is Bilar, swamp oak or casuarina. Opposites, always together, destined to accompany, refer and highlight the other. Murgu bara agwaymadan, dark or nightside blood, and their boss, King Brown Snake. Some of their kin include the catfish, bandicoot, ibis, and possum. Yuluwiri, the rainbow, belongs to swamp country people. Murgu bara. Murgu men are ibai. Women, ibada. This shows who they can marry and who they can't. Swamp country makes strong shields, long spears, shelter, fire, food, water. These twins work together to give you all that you will ever need. is lignum, wispy brambles, whipping thickness, scrambled, impenetrable knots and joints, hugging water, waiting for flood, an endless scribble, 
a drought dry forest that can stretch for miles without end. On dry plains, Meria is an obstacle. In flood, it becomes a palace. The towering shrubs dissolve under the surface of the water, only the plant's very tops unsubmerged. Birds fly from continents to make nests, Miriaga, in the lignum. Here they lay, then hatch, then feed their young. Nurseries of colour waiting to paint the sky. The head of Miria is the crow, a clever man, complete with his pouch of magic inside special stones. Lignum people's family include Mungangali, the lace monitor, Mungan, that pesky mosquito, and Gija, Uncle Black Ant. Balu, the moon, belongs to Lignum people. Miriya Barangaya, I'm of the Lignum clan. Without you, I 
settle together on the lake. Get comfortable, wiggle down a bit. We are now in the heart of Yualarai, surrounded on all sides by Miria, Nunga, Murgu, Gari. The Mimi's clan lands warm our backs and fill our minds. I hope you're feeling happy, feeling full. Dari Wall, this place, is incredibly special and our story and songline has led us here. It's wonderful we've all made it this far together. We are sitting in the jewel of our homelands. Here is the end point of epic migrations, the beginning of new life, the continuance of ancient ceremony, and ongoing teaching and exchange. Soak yourself into the ground. At Naran Lakes, all clans and nations are cared for. All people, regardless of blood or skin or marriage or meat, are loved.
Oh